In 2020, the Cultural Development Foundation honored him as St. Lucia's 2020 icon at its annual Cultural Icon Series. Here's an excerpt from that production. He was always a lead actor. That was his strength. He had a fantastic memory. And to be a good actor, you have to have a good memory so that you can explain it, express it in a very convincing form. Ah, good morning, youngster. It's a damp, mournful walk through the forest, isn't it? And only the cheap of a bird to warm one makes the old bones creak. Bonjour, Vieco. My name is Tija. What I can never forget about Jake's on stage, there were two little children who were supposed to be the offspring of the princess. And the princess is murdered in the play, the print, which is played, a part played by Zin, Zin Thibbles, who was another famous arts girl actress. And when Jake thundered out in one of his lines, the children started to cry. They were supposed to be dead. And they were frightened out of, from death. <laughs> He won an award, best, I think, best supporting actor for that way. And that was my first experience with Arthur Jacobs. Arthur Jacobs had a love affair with stone and wood. He was a self-taught craftsman and sculptor, using salmon and mahogany found naturally in St. Lucia, creating unique North American pieces. Some of his commissioned work can be found in government of St. Lucia offices royal palaces, foreign diplomatic offices, and places of high esteem. As a sculptor, he created bronze busts for famous St. Lucians like Garnet Gordon, Louis McVeigh, and Dr. Carl Le Corbonnier. He studied sculpting, right? He had gotten a, a scholarship, a fellowship to um, go to the United States. I think, I think this would have been way back in the, oh boy, Maybe early 70s, I'm not even sure. No, earlier than that, no, I mean earlier than that. Um, I think, I think I'm, I'm not sure. To, to study, um, so you did sculpture and um, But I mean, you couldn't really make a living as a sculptor here. And so, you know, you, you went into like, you know, making gravestones and plaques and that kind of thing. Um, and also the, the, the clocks, you know, the, you know, in the shape of St. Lucia and that kind of thing. And, that, and that's, that's, what, that's what he put his, um, that's what he put his, his skills, the use that he put his skills to. But I've wondered on more than one occasion what his sculpture would have been like, what you know, would have been like, and if he had, if he had really had the, the freedom to, to do it, you know, what, what that would have been like. Um, really phenomenal man, you know? As often the case with creatives, Arthur Jacobs' talent bled into music and theater. He joined the St. Lucia Arts Guild in 1959 at the age of 22 under the tutelage of Guild founders Roderick and Derek Walcott. Jakes blossomed as an actor. In 2018, Mr. Jacobs was awarded the St. Lucia Medal of Merit Gold for his indelible contribution to the arts. The full icon series featuring the life and work of Arthur Jacob can be seen on NTN.